all right all right all right all right, all right. i got i got a little something for y'all so i think this was worth the uh the ink and a paper that i had to pr print this out on so it's a series of text messages between me and a quote unquote, quote unquote potential uh team member right i didn't go looking for this dude he found me through an acquaintance acquaintance so this is how it was. So, so I guess I can say uh, some church people, put it like that. Oh, I'm going to step on some toes. I don't care, right? You're not exempt because you're, you're a, a religious or a holy person or someone that go to church like nine days out the week and 26 hours a day. So you're not exempt. At the end of the day, this is business, right? So that's probably another rant. So I could care less. You like it, you don't. Switch the channel. But I'm going uh, to read this, this series of text messages that I got from this guy who wanted to work with me. Cool. I mean, I'm always open. So he come at me, first of all, thinking that he could just come to work. Okay, he going to come to work, and I'm going to pay him the same day or whatever. So his perception already was wrong. But I'm going I'm to get to the chase. So... Now this dude keep harassing me. I'm gonna just put him on blast, and I'm gonna tell you tell you his name. Some of his people are Facebook friends with me. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna probably be be like, oh, who's he talking about? I try to guess, but if he keep on, I got him. I, I, I'm gonna just put it out there. So I don't care. But if, but anyway, uh, I'm really particular. I have customers I've been having for so long. These people trust me. Uh, I don't just bring anybody to their house. Uh, even commercial properties, I don't just bring an able body there or someone who said they can cut grass. I go through a screening process. I go through training, and which that explains why I hardly ever have somebody working with me. Most times people can't hang. Most times it's too much for them, and I demand a lot, period. So I'm in a hunt now for a full-time worker or whatever, but it's going to take time. I'm going to screen you. I'm going to try you out. There's going to be numerous uh, conversations we're going to have uh, before you can even get to working where I'm really not watching you. It'll be a while, like depending on your skill set or how well you catch on, it'll be a while. But anyway, I cut to the chase on this thing here. Uh, Facebook, Insta, this is like all social media. This is entertaining, right? So I'm about to give you something to entertain you on this one. So so this guy, he, he, uh, he shot his stick. He's trying to convinced me to let him come to work so he's like been cutting grass since i was a little boy with my dad worked offshore for many years as a cook i'm also a painter i do a little carpentry i'm a hard worker i never disrespect my boss and by the way i'm not a boss i'm a leader so that you know that's not me anyway so he's saying the wrong thing i get it he's trying to put his best foot put put his best foot forward so i can give him a shot uh i don't like missing work you know, those things are pluses. Of course, you say the things you have to say to get a job or to get what you want. My name is, <laughs> I'm able to start tomorrow, God, God willing. Thank you, my brother. Please give me a chance. All right, so I responded back because I did ask him to text me because I know that's how, that'd be his best way of communicating with me right now because I'm just that busy. But um, I, re I replied and said, thank you for inquiring. I'll be in touch soon. He said, okay, thanks. So, next series of texts, uh, matter of fact, it was that evening. I texted him, I said, hey, um, a couple screening questions. You know, this is just to get the conversation started. I can tell, like, if you're going to even be a potential fit by asking some questions and just trying to understand you a little bit. So, I asked him, how old are you? Have you ever worked in this extreme heat? If so, how long? What? And the last question was, what brings you to this point in your life where you are in need for this type of work? In other words, what's the story? Like, he's sounding really desperate. So there's something going on behind the scenes that I think I need to know about. I don't want to get into your bedroom business, but I need to know, like, what's going on. Because you come in here working with me, and you put me under pressure behind a situation that you're in. And I, if you tell me up front, then I can say, okay, well, that's something I can deal with or something that I can't deal with. You have to find another job or find do your searching or your job hunting somewhere else. So anyway, he never responded to that. So uh, two days go by, uh, I text him because he started calling me. And like I'm like, dude, I can't talk right now because I know conversation 
with a first time person trying to explain a lot to them, that can be at least an hour. I don't have an hour in my day. I really don't. I'm already swamped with work. I'm trying to catch up. I got kids that I pick up from the bus stop, get to the bus stop. It is tight. So having a phone conversation would definitely put me behind on work. So I, I'm not doing it. So I just told him to text me. So anyway, I text him, uh, this morning I said, good morning, sir. I am extremely busy at this time. I cannot take time out to have a phone conversation with you. Please text. It is best. It is the best communication method at this time. Thanks. So then, uh, he texts back. Well, sir, I'm sorry to hear that. If you are too busy to talk on a phone to potential help and you need help as mm, said you do, uh, you would need to get you some help. You, you know, you need to get some to get, you need to get you some help to help you. Ah. And he continued on saying, I've been calling you since yesterday. I have good landscaping experience. Now he's shooting the stick again. Uh, I've worked on the North Shore at this particular church uh, for five years, keeping up the landscape. Of course, it's sounding good. Resumes sound good, right? Uh, I also work with Gretna Grass Crew also. Uh, so if you need help, call me. Uh, I know that, dude. Uh, if you don't, please. So if you need help, call me. If you don't, please just let me know and I'll stop pursuing this job. God bless. Remember that part, okay? If you need help, call me. If you don't, please just let me know and I'll stop pursuing this job. P.S. I grew up knowing your family. Your family knows mine. I'm not a stranger. Man, I really need a job right now to meet my financial obligations. Please help me. Now you're desperate. Dude. Okay. This is what I replied. I'm not looking for experience. I'm looking for the right personality and someone I can train. And someone who will understand why and what I do and what we do. Please answer the questions I text you on Thursday. Thank you. So he re responded, I'm uh, 50 plus years old. Yes, I have worked in this extreme heat, just out of work right now. Was working offshore, got laid off. Some of y'all gonna piece this together. I don't care. Uh, I replied, cool, thanks for the info. Now, of course, this was uh, this was some time later. So this wasn't right back to back. This was maybe uh, this was freaking five hours later. So I replied back. Cool. Thanks for the info. Just from the early looks of your situation, it's best if you continue looking for employment. Remember when he said just let him know. So I'm letting him know. Right. Uh, you wouldn't be a good fit. From what I understand, you are in need of immediate employment. I cannot provide that to you. The process of working with me will take some time, and there some time, and there's training involved, which means you will not be compensated heavily at the beginning. It can take up to two to three weeks before you receive a full check. So I won't waste my time and yours, and money on a drug test or any training time. Thanks. That was it. I let him know, right? So. This way he took the shot. This was so hilarious. Oh, some church people. <laughs> you know what, y'all mad? Just be mad. He texts back, uh, okay, I'm good with that. I can't afford to work two to three weeks for a check. It seems like you're the type that wants work done but don't like to pay anyway. But I guarantee this, I could be more productive than two of your best men. Thanks anyway. Oh, he shot below the belt. Oh, I felt that one. I wasn't gonna respond, like, you know what I'm gonna do after this one? I got a couple more I can read to y'all. They're like so hilarious. Some of these people out here just goes off and like, they just have no filter about like what they tell you and they're like so wrong, right? So I got another one I'm gonna send y'all. Like I saved this one. This was from, this was from uh, like two or three years ago. Like this lady was hilarious. But anyway, this is what I responded. I wasn't gonna respond, but I did. I said, I don't know you. And you sure don't know me. Understand this. Whoever works for me is well compensated and is paid weekly. I said it would be two to three weeks before you would get a full check. Read and just understand that. 
no read and understand that is why I don't waste my time with people like you oh and after some research on you I may end up losing money on a drug test because you may not pass of course I do my research on my people I really do I start inquiring I hit up resources and I don't believe everything but it does lead me in the right direction or at least give me an idea of what I'm taking on but anyway uh, he takes back uh, I get high on the Holy Ghost I'm a minister of the gospel I don't need drugs to satisfy me God has already satisfied sanctified and glorified me you take care uh, so after taking the shot now you want to go a holy roly on me right so I I reply one more time this is the entertainment value for you all I told him well uh, ask the Holy Ghost for a job please don't call me or text me anymore actually I'll just block you my point to all of this stuff is like people I guess they, they, they play one role and then when they don't get what they want they play this other role right so him taking a shot I did what he asked me to do like if this not gonna if I'm not gonna get this job let me know and I let him know so he didn't like that right so he showed me before I could even meet this guy face to face what type of person he is do I want that type of person around my customers no H E double hockey hockey sticks no I don't want that type of person around my people right because just think if I'm not there or if I'm not around with my back turn with this person gonna do but he's a church person he's a holy person you said you heard it sanctified field dude don't go there with me right so I just had to put that out there one day I'm gonna do the other one the other one is even better than that this is from a lady who who decided not to pay me right and get mad when I decide I want my money Stay tuned for that one. This might be an ongoing thing because I got I got some stories for y'all. I can tell y'all. Not only do we deal with the heat out here, but we deal with obnoxious customers. We deal with people who really don't care, right? People who think you're supposed to cut their grass and they can just pay you whenever they feel like it, right? I understand we have to buy them with a totem pole, or whatever, but you cut your own grass if you want to do us like that. You know what I'm saying? Cut your own grass. This is not easy, right? The equipment that we acquire. The, the the brutality of the sun that we take on that's that's brutal by itself that's one of the worst you know and the fact that we have to deal with the weather like rain and stuff like that so it's not easy but anyway i'll save that for another one and just enjoy this for its entertainment value so y'all figure it out y'all can put his name under the comments i don't care right and hold up dude i blocked dude so he ended up send me some pictures of him and his clergy and stuff like that i don't care dude you need to represent religion and god better than what you just did right i would never come to your church i would never listen to you pastor preach minister or nothing because look at how you handle your personal life i'm done i'm gonna get at y'all later on another one later